According to police, Chevy Ravi Batiste was found hanging in a holding cell at Central Police Station on the Carnage in St. George last Wednesday, a few hours after being detained by police. Soon after the discovery, family members of the deceased gathered at the police station, where the body of the 34-year-old of Willis in St. George was still on the scene. Despite police officers' allegations that Batiste hanged himself using the only clothing item he was wearing, a pair of boxers, the mother of the deceased Ellen Batiste says she will remain relentless in her pursuit of the truth of what happened the day her son died. She says her confidence in the law has been broken due to a mixture of stories being told by the lawmen, and she does not believe her son killed himself. Last Wednesday, while I was in Foodland, I got a phone call stating that my son hung himself in the in Central Police Station. They told me, don't move, remain until they come. They dropped me over this in the Central. When I go, coming out from the van, as I coming out from the van, they told me no photos is allowed. Huh? They take me and they bring me inside where he was lying on the ground. When they raise up the sheet, I told them he don't die. They kill him. I told them they choke him. So I asked them to show me the boxes, what he hang himself with. They take out some little pieces of boxes, about six to seven pieces of boxes. They show me, and I tell them that can hang him. Batiste was detained on Wednesday, 9th June, in connection with a dispute which occurred between him and his girlfriend, which resulted in damage to her vehicle. During the mother's account of what she was told transpired on Wednesday, she mentioned the girlfriend's recollection of the day of the arrest. When I speak to the girlfriend, she tell me while she was making this statement, they had him in the back cell and they were punching him in the back cell. And all she hear what he was saying is, mm, mm. So she said that playing on she mind to hear them punch they were giving him. Attorney at law Jerry Edwin, legal representative for the Batiste family, says next on the agenda is a coroner's inquest, which he hopes can happen in quick time. So we're still in the early stages, but as a legal matter, what will happen where someone dies in police custody is that the magistrate will convene what we call a coroner's inquest to determine the cause of the young man's death, whether it was through negligence, whether it could be explained, or whether it was misadventure. Because I think any ordinary person would say it is implausible that a 170-pound vibrant, healthy young man can commit suicide using a cloth that a person can just pull with both hands and it will break. According to police, the deceased was detained and brought into the station at about 1.15 p.m. He was found hanging in the cell at approximately 4.30 p.m. Officials of the Community Relations Department say investigations are still ongoing and no one has since been held accountable for any involvement in the matter. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.